Whoever conceals his transgressions will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. We always advise that before the new year that you be prepared spiritually by confessing and getting rid of all the bad habits you engaged in to start a new beginning. So the following is a list on how to confess. Number one, firstly, you must be convinced that you have sinned so that you confess your sins before God and the, your confession father. He who justifies himself or sees that he is right in his action naturally, he will not confess. Two, at confession, you confess your sins and not the sins of others. Do not put the blame on others as Adam and Eve did. God will not judge them, but he will judge you. Three, sit first and make up an account with yourself in order not to forget. You can even write it down on a piece of paper so you don't forget it. Four, concentrate in your words in order not to waste the time of the confession father and the other waiting confessors. So don't say long stories on how the devil made you fall. Just say, I have sinned and done this and that. Five, confession is not to tell stories, but to mention where you sinned. Because confession is to judge yourself before God in the hearing of the priest. Six, mention the sins of work, thought, heart, tongue, senses, and intention specifically not as stories. Seven, mention your wrongdoings in relation to worship and all the means of grace such as not praying or reading, not fasting or spiritual, attending spiritual meetings and so forth. Eight, speak of your wrong in relation to the main virtues such as faith, humility, love, gentleness and the remainder of the fruits of the Spirit. Nine, no objection that you make a comparison with the previous point to find out if you are in spiritual growth or tardiness, sus suspension or lukewarmness. Ten, go to confession with the spirit of repentance and submission and wholeheartedly determined not to return and keep away from the causes of sin. Eleven, make your confession day an ideal day with a special treat, either in preparation for or after the confession, taking no action that makes you lose your spiritual warmth. Twelve, in your decision to repent, beware of depending on yourself, but continually pray that God gives you strength. Thirteen, after confession, the devil might contend with you to let you fall, put you in despair and spoil the new beginning that you started. Take care and pay good attention to any combat. If you fall, do not say there is no use, but stand up with more strength and true will. 14. Give more importance to fight the repeated sins. And have a happy and blessed new year with a renewed heart. Still with us? God grant us this year a wider view so we may see others' faults through the eyes of you. Teach us to judge not with hasty tongue, neither the adults nor the young. Give us patience and grace to endure, and a stronger faith so we feel secure. And instead of remembering, help us forget the irritations that caused us to fret. Freely forgiving for some offense and finding each day a rich recompense in offering a friendly, helping hand and trying in all ways to understand that all of us, whoever we are, are trying to reach an unreachable star. For the great and small, the good and bad, the young and old, the sad and glad, are asking today, is life worth living? And the answer is only in loving and giving. For only love can make mankind and kindness of heart brings peace of mind. And by giving love, we can start this year to lift the clouds of hate and fear. Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, 
my God. I am heartedly sorry for having offended you, and I detest all my sins because I dared the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all because they offend you, my God, who are good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of your grace, to confess my sins, repent, and to abend my life. Amen. Thank you.